All right, so today I'm going to show you how to write an equation for a scatter plot trend line. Now, writing an equation for a scatter plot trend line isn't that much different than writing an equation for a regular line. The only difference, though, is that on a scatter plot, a lot of times you're going to have to estimate the points you're using for your y intercept and your slope. But otherwise, it's exactly the same as finding the equation for a normal line. So let's do this example here. Now I've already drawn my uh, trend line on my scatter plot, and if you want to see how I did that, click the link down below in the information section, and there's a video on how I did that. But let's find the equation for this line here. I'll start with the y-intercept because that's the easiest thing to find. Now notice, the line crosses the y-axis here. Now based on the scale, this is 10, this is 20, right above it's 15, it's a little less than 15. I'll say this is 13, okay? Again, we're gonna have to estimate because we don't have the exact value there. We don't know what it exactly is, okay? So I found my y-intercept as 13. Now, to find the slope, I need two points and to find the rise and the run. My suggestion for you is when you're finding your two points, to find the slope of the line, try to pick two spots on the line far apart from each other. The reason is, the further apart they are, the lower the risk of you making a small margin of error mistake. All right, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna take this point, I'm gonna try to take a point really far away from this point, like at the very end, way over here. And remember, you're, play, you're picking two spots on the line. You're not picking the points, not the data points. You're picking spots on the line. So I'm going to pick this one way over there. Okay. So I'm going to have to find the rise and the run from this point here to this point over here. Okay. So from here to here, it's going from 13 to 65. So that means it went up 52. So there's my rise, 52. Now my run it goes over to, this looks like it's about, no, it looks like it hits the line actually, 110. So we'll say the run is 110. So my slope is 52 over 110. And for scatter plots, I always tell my students that they can give their slope as decimals. Since everyone's gonna have a slightly different slope, it's nice to have a decimal so we can compare. And 52 divided by 110 is about 0.47, okay. Now, remember I told you, pick two points far away from each other, right? The reason being is that if you're a little bit off on your estimate for one of these two points that are far away from each other, after you divide them, the slope is not going to be affected as strongly. However, if you pick two points really close together and you're off by a little bit on one or both of your points, it's going to strongly affect your slope. Okay, so I always suggest picking points far away as possible. Using the y-intercept is a good one to pick because it's at the beginning of your line, and then picking something far away. Okay, and try to pick easy points so that it's not too complicated to have to worry about. Like this point right here that I picked, um, it actually hit right on both grid lines, so it was nice and easy to work with. All right, so now that I know my slope, my equation is going to be y equals 0.47x because that's my slope plus my y-intercept, which is 13. And that is the equation for this trend line. All right? Why don't we do a second example, okay? So for the second example, this is yet another scatter plot that I worked on on a previous video. So if you want to see how I drew that trend line in, make sure you click on that link down below. All right, but let's go ahead and see if we can find the equation for this trend line here. All right, so my y-intercept is here which on this scale, it looks like it's going up by two. So this is 16, this is 18, that's 20. So it's right in between. So let's say this is 19. It's about 19, okay? Now, for my second point to find the slope, I'm gonna pick one as far away as, I'm just gonna pick this one right here. See, this point is on the line and it's pretty far away. So I'm gonna have to go all the way down here and all the way over to here to get to my line. Uh, to get to my point. All right, so that means it's going from 19 down to zero, so my rise is negative 19. My run is, well, this is 20, this is 25. Halfway between is 22 and a half, so this is about 23. And again, we have to estimate because on a scatter plot, a lot of times the numbers aren't going to be exact and the scales are going to be bigger. So my slope would be 19, negative 19 over 23. 
which on my calculator, 19 divided by 23 is point, about 0.83. So this is going to be negative 0.83, approximately. So now that I know my y-intercept and my slope, I can write an equation for this trend line. y equals negative 0.83x plus my y-intercept 19. OK? So notice, to write the equation for a trend line, it's not that much different than writing the equation for a normal line. But you do have to do some estimating. And you do have to pick your points for your slope a little strategically. Picking points as far away as possible from each other makes your slope a lot more accurate. All right, so I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe, it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.